truly apologize for any, everything that I was involved in, anything. It just wasn't okay. So woman involved in the brutal murder of Shannon Graves will spend the next 18 years behind bars. Today in court, Katrina Layton apologized for her actions. Katrina Layton sat tearfully in court this afternoon for sentencing on charges of tampering with evidence, abuse of a corpse, and obstruction of justice. Special Prosecutor Dan Caceres said while Layton was not responsible for the victim's death, she was deeply involved in trying to conceal the crimes and dispose of the victim's body, calling her the captain of this criminal enterprise. This video contains the interrogation of a woman who helped her boyfriend to murder his lover. For seven years, Katrina Layton was involved in what she believed to be a fairly committed relationship with Anthony Nuova. Nuova helped to raise her two children from a previous marriage, and while there were struggles, Layton thought that Nuova was satisfied with their life. That abruptly changed when Nuova met Shannon Graves. He soon broke up with Layton claiming that he wasn't ready for the responsibilities of being a father and was tired of being tied down. Nova's infatuation lasted about four months before he started having second thoughts, and he and Layton started the process of getting back together. During that time, Graves conveniently disappeared, paving the way for Layton to move in with Nova. Graves' family and friends were concerned, but not a trace of her whereabouts could be found. The case might have gone unsolved, if Nuova and Layton hadn't made a crucial mistake. Friends of Nuova allowed him to store a freezer in their basement. One day, the wife decided that she needed some ground beef and didn't think Nuova would mind if she bypassed the improperly installed lock on the freezer. Instead of packaged meat, she found the freezer contained a garbage bag of the partial remains of Shannon Graves. So listen, while well, I got you here, one of the reasons we've been knocking on doors down there okay. is because we're looking for Shannon. Oh, yeah, I've heard something about that. I haven't really been following it all too closely, all like that, just because, I mean, for the simple fact that me and Anthony were together for about seven years. And then, you know, we just needed a break. We split up for a little bit. They were together for a very short period of time. We started talking, we got back together. So, I mean. When did you get back together? Oh, God. We started talking again. Give me a second. I know they were together for like four or five months before we started talking again. So, I'm trying to think when they got together. Let me think. I'm just trying to think of dates. I know it was 2016, like maybe towards the end of the year. I don't really exactly know what month they got together, like actually started dating. You know what I mean? I was wondering when you got back with Anthony. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, just recently because it had to have been about... <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even give a track. Um, let me think. Was it before Christmas? I'm trying to think when I actually moved back in with him. That's why. Um, I think it was like the beginning of February. We actually kind of started just. Leighton and Noah got back together shortly before Graves went missing. But got back together, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to think. Them, I think so. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to think because. Yeah, I think. I know she was already moved out when I moved back in because you know we're not going to be in the same house together, obviously. It happens, but I wouldn't oh, think so. Yeah. No, no, not at all. No, we've had that happen. No, 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 no. So when you okay. got back with Anthony. She was already gone. Oh yeah, she was. Do you have any idea when that was? We're we're trying to find her, and we're. You know, I'm just trying to. We're think. trying to narrow down timelines, but we keep running into people that, you know, it's been a couple months now, so yeah. things kind of blur together. Yeah, but, I mean, 
See, the problem was is I just really wasn't paying attention, but it could have been like January, beginning of February, somewhere around there, I would say. Were you seeing them before you moved in? Yeah. We were already kind of talking. Okay. We were already trying to kind of working things out. I mean, you got to realize we've been doing this for seven years. Oh, it yeah. It just now hit eight years. You guys don't have kids together, but you've no, been but together he, a long time. Yeah, he helps take care of mine. Okay. He helped raise mine. So you, before you moved in with him, you were seeing him a little bit? or Yeah, we were about. talking. We were, was, you know. Was he still seeing her at that time? Uh, They were together. Uh, but not really. It was just kind of they were each doing their own well, thing. I, listen, I talked to Anthony about it, and he said this thing with her wasn't, in it, his opinion, it wasn't a serious thing. He was just having fun with her. And, yeah, that's pretty and much what it happened. She was a dancer, and for him, <laughs> she was a stripper. <laughs> for him, it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just was, don't agree with that lifestyle. But well, I mean, for him, he just said, "Look, this was just kind of like a fun thing I did with her." Basically, he what happened is and, when we got together. It was just this thing where it just grew into something, you know? Yeah. And he went from having no kids to having all this responsibility, yeah. you know, watching the kids while I worked, stuff like that. Right. So, I mean, after a while, guy that has no kids gets overwhelming, you know? Yeah. So, we kind of split up because he felt real, like, you know, just confined. Trapped. Yeah. I was always, you know, yelling about the house being clean and, you know... Stuff like that. I was doing 20 million things at once, you know. Overnight so, family for him, though. Huh? huh? It was like an overnight family for him. Though. Yeah, pretty much. So it was like, it was just one of those things, and we needed a break, you know? I got you. And she was just fun at the time. She had no kids. Oh, you know? yeah. Stuff like that. He she, could, she was no responsibility. Right. They, you know, he could just get up and go and, you know. So he was seeing her when he was with you then, or? Well, they got, we had split up, they got together, and I know, I think they were together like four or five months before we started talking again. Okay. Somewhere around there. And at the time when we started talking again, it was just kind of like talking, we were just kind of trying to fix everything, you know, we weren't even really sure if we were going to get back together. Well, yeah. But it just kind of... What was she like? <laughs> Do you want my honest opinion? Well, that's what I'm asking for, yeah. Um, she was trouble, in my opinion. Okay. I feel like she just didn't care about other people. Layton's opinion is colored by her jealousy over Graves' relationship with Noova. Her throw ball being because of the fact that, like, for instance, with me, I have my car. You know what I mean? I know Anthony doesn't have a license, so therefore I don't let him drive my car. Yeah. But she... Because, you know, she danced all night. Obviously, that's what strippers do. Well, you know, then she slept all day. Oh. So, therefore, he got to take her car and just get all her errands done, fix the car, do the grocery shopping, go here, go there. Basically, he was like her chauffeur. That's my opinion. In it, though. So, he let her, she let him drive her car. Basically, it was like an even exchange. She let him drive her car in exchange for, you know, just her being able to sleep all day. Oh, okay. You know, so he basically got to... So he did all the running around. All the running around, took the dog out, okay. you know, all the work around the house, the cleaning, the cooking, you know. She was just kind of there, what, went to work and came When's the last time you saw her from her? Me, personally, it's been a very long time because of the fact that, you know, obviously we're not going to be around each other. Yeah. Um. So. But this year, have you seen her? No. Oh, no. I haven't seen her. I'll be honest with you. Uh, there was a time where they had gotten, they had went over to, um, like, Campbell to a friend's apartment. And she was there with him. Um, and me and her kind of got into a little, you know, yelling match because... You know, I'm trying to talk to him, and she's, like, all in my face and stuff. And that's probably the last time I saw her, and that was sometime in 2016. She was a little possessive of him because she knew who you were, but... She, from what she told her ex-boyfriend, and uh, God only knows how many other people, she only slept with him to make me mad. And he had told me that in... Well, that went on for a long time. Well, it, I guess it originally started like that. I don't know exactly what it turned into for her, but it didn't uh, seem to be much, you know. Did she know who you were to do that? Oh, yes, yeah, she did. 
She did. How would she know who you were? Because um, they were staying, well, let me rephrase that. He was staying at a house over um, his friend Clown's house. Yeah. And, you know, he had moved in there when me and him were having problems. You know, try to space it out a little bit. And her boyfriend, fiance, brother, let me me fix that. Her fiance at the time was in jail. Mm -hmm. She moved in there strictly because he wanted her to stay there while he was locked up. This is what I've been told. Okay. Um, So, therefore, she was living there. He was living there. And there was a bunch of times, you know, I would go over and she would just be around. And she would be down there and she would be in his face. And I kind of started, like, you know, looking and like... So this fiance you're talking about, it's John? Yeah. Well, John half wanted her to stay there so that... She would stay out of trouble. Right. But... Anthony was there. Yeah. That's how they met. Mm Mm-hmm. So she knew you from you visiting him. Yeah. I was over there all the time. And then slept with him to fish out. Yeah. She knew I was there. Like, she knew why I was there. Makes sense. Yeah. I was there only for him. I mean... Yeah. You know, I knew everybody in the house, but... You know, for the Have most you talked part. to John? Has John's been kind of conducting his own investigation? I noticed. <laughs> Have you talked to him? Uh, he sent me a message on Facebook a while back ago. Yeah. Um, I guess when he first found out. And I told him, I said, I really didn't know anything. So I haven't seen her since God knows when, when you know. Yeah. With every statement, Layton is careful to distance herself from having any contact with Graves. She is hoping that because it would be natural for her to avoid her boyfriend's ex, the detectives will not look at her too closely. However, Layton has already displayed more animosity than might be considered normal if she truly believed that Graves and Noova did not have a serious relationship. Right now on my Patreon, you can watch the most shocking interrogation you'll ever see by far. What happens in this interrogation room is certainly not suitable for YouTube, and it will leave you completely shocked. Go to patreon.com slash strangerstoriesplus to watch it, plus many other Patreon-exclusive videos. Like, while they were starting to mess around and stuff, I didn't make it a point to, you know, run into contact with her. <laughs> you know, if you can understand that. So did did he talk to you about it or no? A little bit. He yeah. just asked, um, you yeah. Reading messages. Give me a second, I'll get to them. Give me a second, I got quite a few on here. As far as that service in there. Hang on. Oops. There we go. Okay. He messaged me at June 25th at 2.30 in the morning. I was asleep, but I have my phone, you know, it goes off. He's good for that kind of thing. Yeah. Bugging everybody around the clock. Yeah, I said, hey. I said, hey, what's up? I was asleep. I got to be up at 6. I heard my phone go off, though. He goes, I got a really weird call yesterday while I was working for a young son detective looking for a star and a Mr. Terranova. I said, what for? That is weird. It's like, it's weird. Like, okay, you're messaging me at 2.30 in the morning for this, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, he goes, I don't know exactly. He said they've been looking for a month. Last time she was seen was, with a, was at Walmart with a guy about a month ago. I don't know exactly. These are all like one after the other. He goes, said they talked to her family, family is worried, haven't seen or heard from her, and did I know their whereabouts or telephone numbers? And I told him, I said, hang on, you're typing too fast, you know? Yeah. Give me a second to read, like, it's coming in all at once. He goes, said my name came up, so I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I haven't seen or heard from her or tried to since back around Christmas. I said, I don't know either, honestly, I haven't heard from him come up in quite a while, because me and him don't talk about her. He knows, you know, yeah. I don't want to hear about somebody he messed around with like I just don't yeah. I'm cool on that <laughs> you know we're fixing what we're doing then whatever it's fine you know and he was like okay sorry to bother you so late I had to ask and I told him this is one of the rumors I did hear I said I do know she left Anthony because he wasn't working that was a long time ago because you know pretty much her whole relationship he wasn't working yeah 
you know. So, yeah. I mean, he had little he's side jobs. He's working out. Yeah, he's working yeah. out. Little side jobs here and there, you know, but yeah. nothing, nothing up to her standards, I call them. She expected him are to... Stripper standards? <laughs> I don't know what stripper standards are, but... That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, well, I mean, according to her standards and what I've heard from people, she was the type that wanted to be with somebody who had a lot of money, who could take care of her, where she could just kind of live that life, and she could just kind of do what she wanted. Well, how's a guy with no job fit that bill? John's in prison, so... I mean, all I know about him... Kind of over two there. Yeah, all I know about him is that he went to jail mm -hmm. uh, for drugs or something like that. And then he came out and was supposedly this reformed Christian guy. Because now all he talks about is God. Uh, from what I... Okay. That's all I know. Like, I don't know him personally. I've never met him. No, I have. I've talked about... Like, You've to never him, met him? Never. i talked to him on Facebook. Yeah. He ever talked to you about... When he got out of jail. Did he ever talk to you about... The possibility of him getting back with her and you getting back with Anthony. Yeah. Okay. Uh, See, here, here's what I'm asking. There's a lot of messages. He's, he's I, I know. And, yeah. You know, he says things, and I'm like, I don't know what's right, what isn't. But did you talk to him about? Wouldn't it be nice if he got back with her and you got back with Anthony or something? Like that? We've had. I mean, there's a lot of conversations between yeah. us because he friend requested me when he got out of jail. That's why I said I've talked to him on Facebook, and like there was a point in time where there was text messages somewhere. Um, I don't even know if he has that phone anymore. But I mean, there was a lot of talk about, you know, it seemed like he was. I don't want to put it. I'm trying to think. At first, it seemed like he would do anything he could to get back with her. Uh -huh. But then he claimed that he was just, like, veering off and doing his own thing. Um, and then I seen something on Facebook where he said that she tried messaging him some night where she got into an argument with a male friend at a house party. Okay. Um, but then he told me he hasn't seen her since before Christmas. So I don't really know what's up there. But, I mean, in all the conversations that we've had... Um, I mean, there was talk about, you know, he basically said that she was waiting for the right moment to leave him. Um, she was just, you know, well, weighing her time and her he, options. He wanted her back. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And she kind of wanted to go anyway. She did. She... She got what she wanted out of Anthony, so I mean, what... I, this is where it confuses me, because there was a bunch of talk about them getting back together. Like, and I... Do know from what he said, um, they had broke up for a week. Graves' previous boyfriend had nothing to do with her disappearance, but Layton is more than willing to point the detectives in his direction. And he, Anthony, had kind of left. But supposedly, she had him over at the house. Who's? John. Star had John over at the house. That's the apartment you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. And... I knew he was there because he literally described the entire apartment to me. Okay. And I asked Anthony, I said, is this what the apartment looks like? Because that was before I had ever went over there. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. And I was like, well, he knows what the apartment looks like. And this, he's telling me that they were on a couch and they were, you know, kissing and this and that and a third. And supposedly she wanted to have sex with him again and he wouldn't. So I've, it, it's been on and off with stuff like, you know, he's, saying that she wanted to get back with him mm -hmm. and she was just waiting for the right moment to leave him and at one point she was talking about leaving state with him and then it was kind of like well i'm gonna give her space type thing yeah so i mean i would have to literally go back in all my messages to find everything but well john's kind of a strange guy i don't know i'm just wondering if you got the impression that he was waiting on her to come back to him. Or oh, yeah. He was trying he to, was, to do something to, come, so to, to make that happen. It seems like... He seems like, like he's really interested in her, especially now. He seemed like, to me, as just, you know, an outsider looking in, mm -hmm. it seemed like he did love her. Mm -hmm. And he was really upset with the fact that she obviously cheated on him. I mean, they were engaged when he was locked up. I yeah. do know that. I've seen pictures of her wearing a ring and stuff. Um... 
I see, I just, I don't know him that well. So I don't want to kind of put anything on him as a person. But just from the gist I got, he wanted her back. He was kind of waiting around for her to come back, oh. seeing if she was going to leave Anthony. Got upset when she didn't, you know, was like, it's whatever, you know, claimed he was talking to somebody else. It was a lot of back and forth with it. I just... When, when, you, when you moved in with Anthony, was her stuff still there? No, she had taken everything. From what I know of, she had taken everything. I don't really know... Like, there were no clothes there or anything? No, I don't remember seeing anything. Maybe her dog was there. Yeah, her dog was there. In a car. Yeah, according to, according to what I've been hearing, um, when she left, she basically told him, you know, can you hold the dog for me? And he said, yeah. He said, you know, but since you're kind of up and leaving, you know, um, can I use the car just till I get around so I can get around, try to get some work, this and that. So they had some sort of mutual agreement over the car and the dog. I'm not really sure of all the details, but I just know that they have some sort of mutual agreement. Oh, no, she had another car? I've heard stories about she had a Toyota. I don't know what kind. Supposedly, it was at Clowns. Well, I mean, because, like, if she left her car, then how did she get in there? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, supposedly, I mean, from what I've heard, she left with some guy. I don't know. That... Some guy we don't know who it is. Yeah, I just, I do know that well, she, this is all before you got there. Just, yeah. You're hearing this from Anthony. The, I'm just hearing stories from different people, you know, just little things here and there. Um, I do know that she had a lot of outside clients, I guess you would call them. I don't know really what they're called, but... You clients. Like, she was stripping. Yeah. But she had also a lot of clients outside of work that she would work for. Realizing that throwing suspicion on Graves' ex might not be enough, Layton also suggests that there are unknown clients who could have potentially been involved. She has no evidence that they existed, but she will use anything that will distract the detectives from her and Noova. And now... What kind of work? Are you talking about prostitution here or what? I don't really know. I just... Well, I mean, she's a stripper, so she like... I guess you call she it that. She dances? Is she a whore, too? Or, I mean, I don't understand. In my opinion, I mean, she, stripping is whoring. So, well, that, I, I just... <laughs> I mean... It's a fine line, but... I just feel when like... When you say a client, I'm like, what's a client? I mean... Like, I just know that she had... You know how you have clients, like, in the club that, you know, you dance for or stuff like that? She also had that stuff outside of work, like on the side. So she privately danced on the side? Yeah, I don't know what else she did. I don't know if it was actually dancing or other things. I didn't get all the details. I got you. But I just know that she did, had clients on the did side. Did Anthony do that with her? Is that how he... No. Oh. No. <laughs> he told me about it, you know. He didn't go into, like, straight detail. Does he normally take her to work? Yeah. So he drove her ass to... Where was she? Cleveland, Akron, all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. So he would drive her all over the state with no license, man. He was really taking a chance. Yeah. And basically, he was, you know, it was basically to keep her happy. And, you know, he got, in return, he got, you know, the comfortability of being able to get up and, you know, go drink at the bar. And... It's a pain in the ass. They're driving all over the place. Yeah. I heard Especially, a couple... I imagine, in the middle of the night because they work late. Oh, I heard a couple of stories <coughs> where she got quite drunk. You know. You can kind of understand that if you had to do that for a living. Yeah. You know. I just, see, my problem with it is that I came, I came from a very poor household. Mm -hmm. But I picked my, I was, I took care of my brothers when I was little, but I picked myself up. I got myself, you know, through high school. I got myself through college. I had my kids a little young, but I did what I had to do. And now I'm going to, I went to school for a certified nurse's aid, and now I do home health aid work. So for me, it's a little hard for me to understand the stripping scenario because it's like, even if you have a hard life, I was just taught that you pick yourself up and you just keep pushing forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you just do what you have to do to make a good life for yourself. So I guess that's why it's just hard for me to envision that type of life because I would never do it. I just think it's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. <laughs> so when you get there, none of our stuff's there. I don't remember anything being there. Just your dog and your car. 
Yeah. Did the... Uh, I don't really remember seeing anything. One thing that John told us, one of the reasons we were... Well, you're somebody to talk to about this. You're actually the best person to talk to about this. Probably. There was a phone number you were using at the time, 6469. Yeah, that's an old... That's, um... That's his cell phone. It was like a little minute phone. Whose cell phone? That's Anthony's. Okay. Um... I don't think it's any longer in service. That was like one of those minute phones, uh, like those Obama phones. But I mean, I got my phone now, so it's like, I don't, but I was using it like temporarily type thing. You, you were know? using it. Yeah. But before you, she was using it. Yeah. I do so, know, I do know she was using his phone. So because John being, John, John is like, her. well, uh, you know, I used to call her this number and now when I call it, it's, she's using it. <laughs> I, well, see, here's the weird thing about that. Yeah. Because weird. when, if he ever called that phone, mm. I never talked to him on it. No, he didn't say he talked That's to him. That's what I was going to say. I never no. talked to him on it. No, what he said was he normally talked to her on it. Oh, But okay. one time when he called it, something was different about it. Maybe he had a greeting on there or something that said Katrina. And he was maybe, I don't know. Maybe. That's what... So, from our point of view, this, was, this girl disappears. Yeah. She leaves behind her dog, which everybody says is her baby. Which, believe what you want on that. She leaves the car behind, which... And, listen, there was a history, like you said, about clowns. There was another car she left behind. Yeah. So she leaves her car. She leaves her dog. But but then she leaves his phone. And no, the phone Anthony's... Is... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Not new girlfriend, but old girlfriend who's now back is not using the phone that I got Shannon you. was using. Yeah. And... So it looks weird. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm like, I wonder if that's Anthony's phone. Yeah. And he just lets whoever's with him at the time use it. Well, John it's... shut her phone off. Originally... Leighton had claimed that she didn't know Graves well and had as little to do with her as possible. That would have been understandable. But the longer she talks, the more specific details Leighton is able to come up with, which shows that she had a deeper connection than she was willing to admit. I do know that. What phone? She had a cell phone through him. Another phone? Yeah. And it was weird because at one point... He was um, messaging me, asking me, because I had the on five at one point. Oh. And the on five, it's a phone through Metro, oh, okay. like that they sell, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they had a big promotion going for it. And I told myself, well, I had just gotten mine, you know, and it's a really good phone, blah, blah, blah. I even have the messages for that. Yeah. And he was talking about getting a new phone. Well, I found out later that he got that phone for her. It wasn't for him. I was just giving him advice because I thought he needed a new phone. He had just gotten out of jail. He got a phone for who? For, for Star. For Shannon. Well, what do you mean he got it for her, not for him? No, he got it for her. He gave it to her. Yeah. John did. Yes. Okay. So and that phone, he also shut off. And I have messages in my Facebook where he said he was going to shut her phone off. Oh. So he shut her phone off on her. I'm guessing maybe because she... When was this? I'm going to have to look. <laughs> I well, can I mean, look. Is it before she was missing? or? Oh, yeah. This was uh, a while ago. I know that. And that's when she, I guess, started using, you know, the little black phone, the little minute phone. Uh, so that black phone, that minute phone, isn't, was never hers, technically. You know what I mean? Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That totally makes sense. So, I mean, and, uh, when my phone was off, you know, I just it, used that until I got a new one. When she left with this other guy, was Anthony... Upset about it at all? Did he, did he seem like it hurt his feelings or anything? Or? I mean, honestly, I don't think he really. Anthony's. I don't want to put it. Anthony's been through a lot. Okay. He lost his best friend back in 2014. His best friend got killed. Who's Corey Craycraft, I'm sure you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he doesn't really. I don't know. He's. He's still trying to recover from that, you know. I don't think he lets things get to him anymore, you know. It's like he's so hurt from the from that that he kind of distanced himself from people. And even me and him, it took a lot for me and him to get back where we were because he was so, you know, he shut down. Um, the reason I'm asking one of the things that John told us was about this. Well, we had a fire over on the south side where some people were burning some stuff in a fire pit. And, um, I don't know. There was a guy who was a friend of 
Anthony's. Okay. Who helped him take some things of hers over to the fire pit and in front of a whole bunch of people he don't know, they're burning her clothes, which could be interpreted a couple different ways. Okay. It could be interpreted one. This was my girlfriend. She left me. She went with some guy. Now I gotta watch her dog until she gets back. Screw her. Yeah. Which I mean, would make sense. Yeah, I gotcha. But when I asked Anthony about it, he said it never happened. But I've got like four people who watched them do this, and I'm like, why would you not? I mean, as far as I know, I don't know nothing. Yeah, if about you that. have a breakup with your boyfriend, you burn his shit because he left you. I understand that. Yeah. Totally understand that. Yeah, I get but it. But if ten people, in this case four people, tell yeah. me you burned your boyfriend's shit, and when I ask you about it, you're like, no, it never happened, man, that gets you thinking. You're like, Ooh. As far as I know, she just came and got her stuff and left. You know what I mean? Uh, I You got to remember, I was with him for a long time before she, they right, got together. Right. And in the seven years that me and him, you know, were together, we've never had crazy disagreements, you know? We've okay. had our arguments in our share of, you know, little you pads, like but he's not a violent person. He's never done off-the-wall stuff where he burns stuff and does this and does that. Well, he does have a history of arson. You will, he, yeah. He has been arrested for arson, so... Yeah, that was... So, for a guy... That was a long time ago. For a guy yeah. who, who burns things up... No, I got be you. pissed off with an ex-girlfriend and burn her shit... No, again, I know, it looks weird, yeah. Make, no, again, it makes sense to me. Totally makes sense to me. Yeah. Until he says... It didn't happen, and yeah. I got like, well, why would four people who have no investment in this yeah. tell me something? I mean, like I said, on my end, uh -huh. as far as I know, nothing was burnt. I mean, he usually, you know, me and him were always real close, uh -huh. you know. So, I mean, if he had gotten upset with her and done something like that, he would have told me, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure he would have. Okay. Um, but I, I just don't see him doing something like that. I really don't. Because he's not a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not conniving, but, um. Vindictive? Yes, there we go. He's not a vindictive person, you know. It's just kind of like he lets stuff go and it is what it is type thing. If you want to leave, you know, there's nothing I can do to stop you. You know, it is what it is type thing, you know. Hmm. I don't know, I just, it's hard for me to believe any of that because... Well, we're just trying to figure out... No, I know, I just from what I know, you know he's we're, always we're, been a we're good just, guy. We're looking into all these different things and we're hearing all these things and, and most of it, like the phone thing... Yeah. Totally understand, he had a phone when she was there, she used it. Now you're there, you used it. Now yeah. the thing's done, totally makes sense. Yeah. And a lot of these things, even leaving the car because she's done that before, the car was a piece of shit. It was, so it, I how know... how long is the car going to run anyway? The detectives have allowed Layton to believe that they have accepted everything she has said at face value. She is competent, which means that she is more likely to let something slip by accident. I know I had a blonde head gasket. If you're gonna, well, how long is it gonna run anyway? Yeah. Blonde head gasket. If you're gonna fight over something, it ain't gonna be a car that's gonna be broke tomorrow. No, and that was you know? the thing, that was the other thing I do know that he did say is that she was gonna scrap the car, uh -huh. and he said, well, since you're just gonna scrap it, can I just use it, you know yeah. what I mean? And then, you know, he got himself into a little bit of trouble where yeah. it got impounded. Yeah. And then, because, you know, obviously she didn't want the car, you know, we left it there. Like, I mean, it's... Well, yeah, well, I mean... Well, you I had a blown head You couldn't get it anyway. Well, yeah, I, mean, I know that. I mean, but... Even if you could find her and transfer the title, would you want the car? It wouldn't be worth the money to transfer, probably. No, it's... a blown head gasket. It's a blown head gasket. But it was like, worth it to go down and get the stuff out of it. Well... I mean, the little bit of stuff that we had in there, like, I don't know, you know, I mean, it was really nothing personal. They, he wanted really to go down and get his radio out of there, and they wouldn't let him take the radio. Right. And he had bought that radio, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, the little bit of... Decent stereo and worth more than the car, probably. Probably. I mean, I'm not sure how much... You, you know what else was in the car? Um, a couple of blankets, but I think they were hers. Um trying to think we took out one blanket but that was oh you were old yeah oh, okay. i because i had to drive my car down because at the time i had my license was fine so i had to drive him down there to get like whatever little stuff he had in there i know he had cologne i think it maybe had deodorant i don't really all remember what was in there maybe papers there were some papers of yours in there 
Still. Mine? Yeah. Oh, okay. There might have been. There's some mail from late February, early March. Oh, okay. There might have been. I don't even really know what was left in there. There was probably a lot of garbage left in there. Did you uh, happen to notice if you grabbed her direction card out of there? I don't think so. Noah was using Graves' direction card months after her death, which is a form of fraud. I'm and assuming she had that with her. I mean, have you uh, ever been shopping with him? Um, just with mine, my direction card, and his. Because oh, he has his he own has direction. Too? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to say. He has his direction card, and he has. Have you seen her using his direction card? Or him using her direction card? I don't think he ever has. No. I don't think so. I mean, when we go shopping, he just whips out a card, you know? i assuming it's his. I mean, because he has his, I have mine. So, I mean. As it, far it, as I know. It's just kind of funny because her card was still being used after she disappeared. And oh, okay. At places all around. Where did you guys shop at? Um, I personally, well, I personally like, um, Really Brothers. I like Really Brothers. Um, in Little, Austin Town? No, no, not Austin Town. The one out Boardman, like out South okay. Avenue. Yeah. Um, Walmart, like whatever Walmart. I'm close by to. Born in Austin? I've been there a long time ago. Not often. Because oh. that one's so further out, you know what I mean? Do you guys Boardman? Usually Boardman or um, Liberty. So if you guys would go shopping, you'd use your card and he'd use his card? Yeah, usually. I mean, that's. Okay. Or I'll give him my card to use, you know, or he'll give me well, his card to use. Sometimes you guys bought separately, is that what you're saying too? Yeah, I mean, there's been occasions where yeah. we went to the store separately. Because I'll make Or you go work. together but buy separately things or you guys always just buy Well things? we always just like pick everything out together, yeah. you know? And then either like just one of us will about a card. But that's how we've always done it in the past. This summer was eight years, so I mean, you know, all together. So I mean, it wasn't really like yeah. a big thing to us, I guess. We just shared our direction cards. I got you. Yeah. Well, you work. Yeah. He doesn't. So the only way he can contribute is by using his direction card. Yeah, yeah at the time. I mean, he finally started those working, you, so. Those are things you work out while you're. Yeah, and that's, you know, that was part of our biggest thing back then, you know. I had a steady job and I was working so much, it was just easier for him to stay home with the kids. Uh, but after a while, it got, you know, to be too much because he felt like he wasn't contributing. He was like, I'm not working. I'm always at the house with the kids. Well, then in the meantime, he's out getting arrested for stupid stuff, too, which doesn't help. Right. What well, car you do have gets towed. Well, anything he got in trouble with, with that car, was, you know, nothing to do with me. No, absolutely. Let's just put it like that. No, but it when he help. was with me, he stayed out of trouble. It doesn't help when you're trying to pull things together. No, it doesn't. We're still doing dumb shit. Yeah. Which is what happened when the car got towed. Yeah. Her car got towed. Yeah. You guys were back together when that happened. I feel a little bad about that, I will say. Because uh, JR was at the house, he was really drunk. I had to be up at 6 in the morning. And I was kind of like doing one of those numbers. Anthony, I can't freaking sleep. I got to be up at 6 a.m. And he's loud as shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just like, come on. Like, be a little cooperative here. Yeah, sure. Just like, and finally, I guess he felt so bad that he just brought him home. So I feel a little that's bad about the yelling and screaming. That's when he ends up running from the police. Yeah. Uh, just, I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> well, I don't think he was. Oh, no, I yelled at him when he got home. After he got home and I cleaned him up. I'm like, what were you freaking thinking? Like, why didn't you just stop? <laughs> just stay there. Stop and get a ticket. It's all. So. But his license is so screwed up. Yeah, well. I guess of, he thought it was going to be worse. A lot of people were in that mode. So let me ask you this. I'm just a little weird. I ask everybody this because we've been looking for this girl now for, well, it's been almost, it's been more than a month now. Yeah. You think she's alive? Me personally, from her history that I heard of, I feel she's probably just out dancing it up some verse. That's just me though. I don't know her personally like all these other people do. I never cared to, you know, that just wasn't on my agenda to know her personally. She just kind of disappeared, though. I mean, but, I mean, 
I just know that at first she has a history of disappearing. She does. I don't know how long. She does. Um, the problem is, is like, we don't, there's a couple things we do. Yeah. Um, she's the kind of girl that would get in contact with the police now and then. Oh, okay. Kind of like Anthony. Okay. And you get pulled over Real and you get stuff, stopped. Yeah. Like, even you, if I was to right now run your name to see what cops have yeah. in contact with you, yeah. I would have a bunch. Yeah. And same with Anthony. Hers, it's like she's gone. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. And I don't, this car to hers got used for a little while, but then when it ran out, because only she could re-up it, oh, okay. it didn't get re-up. Like, she was living on this card. Oh. Which I'm sure like you are. Yeah. If I mean, your card disappeared more, you'd get a new one. Yeah, I would have to. Um, the only, see, just the only problem that I have with it is that the stories that I've heard of her is she has no problem mooching off a guy, mm -hmm. being comfortable, letting them do everything, and dancing her life away, pretty much. It's kind of the opposite of what she did with Anthony. He moved stuff for her, gave her car. Yeah, but she place. got to do what she wanted, pretty much. Well, she could do that anyway. Layton has no sympathy for what may have happened to Graves. Normally, even a stranger would be able to manage a token show of concern, but Layton can only express her disdain. This in itself isn't a sign of guilt, but it makes it easier for the detectives to believe that Layton may know what happened if she isn't directly responsible herself. Not while she was with True. That's part of the reason she left well, him, I guess. Well, he was locked up. No, this was out. I'm talking about after he got out. Oh. When he was trying to get, when they were, like, So you're saying thing. maybe she was using Anthony as cover so that she wouldn't have to be answerable to True? I think they were kind of using each other for comfort, is how I've always looked well, at it. Well, you don't got to work and you got a car to use, so yeah. Yeah, I've always looked at it as, it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Um, he has a car to drive, he can go out and do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, mm -hmm. he can get around, you know, and in return, she gets to sleep all day, yeah. she doesn't have to go food shopping, she doesn't have to go grocery shopping, she doesn't have to go to the store for anything, she doesn't have to go anywhere. She doesn't have to go food shopping? Well, she doesn't have to do anything, really. She doesn't have to take the dog out, she doesn't have to go get the car worked on, she doesn't have to do anything. Well, because he'll do it for her. She would have to do food shopping. Not if she gives him her card. Oh, uh, is that what she did? I mean, as far as I know, I've seen a couple times where he went to the store for her. Like, way back. Like, when they first, like, got together and stuff. I mean, they've, he's went food shopping for her. For the household. When they first got together, he was food shopping for her? When they, when they got that apartment together. Okay. When they got that apartment together. I know that he was doing everything in the household. He was doing all the shopping, the running around, taking care of the car, taking care of the dog. You were talking to him the whole time that she was with him? Not the whole time, no. But these are the stories when that I... When first got the apartment. Yeah, these are the stories that I've got. Like, you know, he he's pretty much done everything, you know? She didn't really have to do much, is what I'm saying, except for sleeping, strip. I mean, they probably went to the store together here and there. I mean, I'm assuming they did at some point or another. But, oh, God, that's my job. Yeah. Hang on one second. Well. I don't know. Like I said, though, the whole thing. So you think she's just hiding out somewhere? I mean, from what I, the, the problem is from my point of view, is everything that I see is just from what I've heard in pure speculation on my opinion. I didn't know her personally. I didn't know her personal life. Yeah. You know, I just know what other people have told me is the problem. So, you know, when I talk to John, you know, he tells me, you know, like that whole time, you know, he wanted to get back with her. They were talking. Yeah. Well, That's what he said. This, he, that, the third. He said while they were living together, he would talk to you about yeah and then you know i'm just assuming i mean i guess it's just from me and him being together you know i would send him to the card with or to the store with my card mm -hmm. you know 
he would send me to the store with his card. It was just... Yeah, no, that happens. You know. So, I mean, I'm assuming that while they lived together, I mean, yeah, she might have went to the store a couple times here and there. I know, of course, he's going to go shopping, you know, too. She's asleep and he's hungry. Of course, he's going to go to the store and get food. I mean, it's just like a common sense thing. I know I would. <laughs> and she you go get food, you know, if you're hungry. She's not the ethnic killer. No. And I'll tell you why. Because I've known him a very long time. And I've never once seen a violent side to him. Ever. Like, I just never have. Like, it's never been like that between us, I guess. You know. I just, I don't know. I mean, like, just, that's just me, though. People do things when you talk to them, when you're saying things. And it's funny because they do these things and you're like, wow. You know, and it's, sometimes it's very subtle and it's hard to get a read on people. Yeah. But other times it's like a punch in the face. And when I just asked you that, you swallowed hard like you were choking something down and I was like holy crap I've had people literally I've talked to them when I ask them a question they do this and they're like you know you hear about these kind of yeah. things you know like playing poker no I just some things are, are like so subtle but I asked you that and I was like man it made my blood run cold no I mean just to me it just I don't know I mean Ooh. it's just a weird question for me I guess yeah because you were well that. it's not like well, it's just... It's not like people are going to ask you every day a question like that. And I don't ask people that every day. Yeah, I just, but I don't know. It just you said, seems... You look at all the stuff and you're like, well, you know, what do you think? I mean, you're closer to that guy than anybody I could think of. Yeah. I mean, I've mean, not even really met the guy because he won't answer his door. But, um, and, you know, when you're looking for somebody that's missing, one of the first things anybody's going to ask me... Well, did you talk to the guy she lived with? What's he say? Well, the guy she lives with, uh... Well, I will he, tell uh, you... Uh, a little hard to find. I will tell you, he does work all night, so he does sleep during the day. Oh, okay. He's a very tough sleeper. Yeah. You know, he's a very heavy sleeper. So am I. Um, there's been times where we have not answered the door, and I will tell you why. Because we didn't know who it was. We had so much trouble with Tim and Tanya coming and banging on the doors and the windows and trying to figure out what the dog is and all this other crap uh -huh. that when I'm home by myself, I'm not gonna open the door because I don't know if they're gonna try to start trouble. The detective points out one of Layton's physical tells, letting her know that they believe she is holding back information. This rattles Layton, and in her effort to explain, she is more likely to give away more than she had planned. Okay. Phil Latimer is some sort of relation to Tanya and I know that he's trouble. He is. Um, I've heard 20 million stories about him, and I but, just don't... But none of those people drive police cars, do they? Well, I mean, I don't look out the window. Oh. I just, you know, I hear the knocking, and I'm just like, I'm not opening that because of the fact that if well, it's Tim and Tanya, I don't want them trying to start crap. Let me ask you this. If you get arrested, and you go to jail, well, in this case, he didn't actually go to jail. They wrote him a ticket, and they released him. Okay. And... You go all the way to probation and you give your probation officer her false address and phone number. Well, no, the address and phone number that his probation officer has on file, that's where his, Mother that's lives? his mom's yeah. address. And he's back and forth, like he was back and forth. Like he still has a little apartment up there. So like all his mail just goes there. That's, it's been like that for years. Even when we lived together, all his mail went there. That's nothing new. That's just. I mean, his bills well, go to the apartment, but that's so what it is. So, you understand the, the purpose of probation so that people can check on you. I mean, okay. yeah, I'm assuming. No, I just, I don't, in lieu of going to jail, yeah. they I mean, if extend he, you the courtesy of trusting what you say. Yeah. So that when they come there, they can say, yep, I'm here to see. Wait a minute. And when mom says, wait a minute, are you his probation officer or are you a detective? Yeah. Then it's kind of like, well, what's the difference? live here doesn't he yeah well if you're his probation officer yes he lives there but if you're a detective looking for a missing girl that might be dead then no he doesn't live there oh no his mom <laughs> let me tell you about like, his mom what? his mom is straight as far as i know his like, mom's what? straightforward no yeah, like, yeah she's straightforward no it. she's straight but i mean you know it, it looks if you do this yeah. line up you know even when the kids when you knock on the door and the kid answers the door 
Yeah. Is Anthony here? And they're like, let me get my mom. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, There's I, a lot I of get little it. weird things here that... I get it. ...that seem like... I mean, if, here's the thing. If he needs to switch his address over to the apartment, you know, of course, well, he can. You know it's kind of I mean? like when I asked you, where do you live? Yeah. And what would you say? My mail was my mom's, but I'm staying there. Yeah. When I said, where do you live? Yeah, technically... You don't live in Whipple. No, okay. I, I guess, yeah, it's like technically I don't live there, but my mail goes there. You know what I mean? Okay. It's just like, and I did that also because at the time, so I didn't... who here is a spy? What do you mean? A secret agent. I mean, it's, it's like, what are we talking about? you James Bond here? I, I don't... All right, well, the only... James Bond, I'm just asking where you live. The it's only not, reason... You know what I mean? I was always funny about, you know... <sighs> I don't tell people that I lived there because I thought the landlord didn't know that I was actually living there. Okay. You know, and I didn't, Anthony just, I didn't want him to get in any trouble. He, you know, moved me in to help me out. I'm, I'm Only not, a one bedroom apartment. I'm you know not the I mean? landlord police. It just like, that's the thing, no, like, I'm you not know. I'm the landlord police. I'm here because I'm looking for a girl. And yeah. When I ask but people, to answer your question for about that. When I ask people where they live and what the phone number is, I'm actually looking for real information. Not, yeah. Not, well, my landlord or not, I don't want my probation officer to know that I really don't live there. Yeah, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, he's violated. Okay. From day one, from the minute he lied about where he lived, he violated. Well, to answer... So any time we wanted, we can... Answer your question, right the road, like, so. fully, you know, to answer your question fully, yeah. yes, my mail does go to my mom's. But, okay. yes, I do stay over there on Mahoney Avenue, you know. So that's fine. I, I just, like I said, I didn't... These are those things, like... I didn't want the landlord. To this is one of those all. things like, like <laughs> four grown-ups yeah. watched you burn somebody's stuff, your ex-girlfriend, which happens, totally understandable, until you say, no, it didn't happen. That's one of those things. Yeah. Now, like, on that why end, the fuck would you do that? Now, on that end, if, I will if tell he you. If you said that, screw that bitch. She left me and I had to pay the rent. I burned her shit up. Totally understand. Now, on that end, I will tell you that's something that you would have to, like I said, go over with him about. How does that make you feel that he, that he burned your shit up? I don't know that he did. That's the problem. Okay. I have well, no... Well, what I'm saying is, how does it make you feel that four grown-ups who I mean, have no stake in any of this? I don't know who these four grown-ups are. Okay. You know? I don't know what their opinion of the situation is. Uh, it's not I really don't know. We're not talking about opinions. Well, I'm just saying opinions, I don't know if they were friends screwed, with her. Opinions screw things up. Yeah. We're, we're talking about his facts. I mean, I don't know if they were friends of hers, you know? Yeah. I don't really know details is a problem. I'm a very literate person. Okay. Like, I have to know. I have this, to know. Is any of what I'm telling you right here, does any of this bother you? <sighs> give you? As in? Give you cause to think about what's going on here and what might happen and the situation I, that you and your kids are in? I mean, I feel bad that she's missing, of course, because it's never good for somebody to no, be missing. No, it's not. It's it, never it, good for somebody to be missing. And let's be clear missing. here. She might just be missing. Layton finally realizes that her lack of concern is causing the detectives to be more suspicious. She changes course, but she is quickly becoming just as much of a suspect as Nova. You know. She could just be missing because she's the kind of girl that was a, a dancer and God knows what else. And disappeared from time to time. If you're asking me if I think Anthony had anything to do with it, no. Because... So, so you don't believe she's dead, and you don't believe... If, I mean... If she is dead, he would have anything to do with it. If she is, I don't think he would have anything to do with it. Just because... How about Drew? I don't know. I don't know him that well. Okay. I... I... I know only what he's told me. And... Like Phil Latimer, her, another ex of hers. Mm -hmm. I only know what people have told me. See what I'm saying? So like, I can't make an opinion or a fact based anything on that because I don't know them personally. If I knew them personally and I had facts, I'd say, well, this, this, yep. this, and this, and then make a decision. Well, so facts are this. He's running around with her. He doesn't think much of their relationship. Yeah. Your, they were together for almost three years, I think. Her and True. I'm talking about Anthony. Anthony. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Anthony's with her, and Anthony doesn't really think much of her. So much so that while he's living with her at her place, he's sliding over to see you. I mean, it was technically theirs. They were both on the lease. Okay. 
I mean, I'm just saying, so, like I said, I'm so, littered. I'm sorry. So while they were sharing an apartment, <laughs> yeah, he was seeing you. We were meeting up. Okay. After, like I said, I think they were together four or five months. Okay. Beforehand. And, yeah. and admittedly, he didn't think much of their relationship. It was just a fun thing for him. Yeah. Which I guess. I feel it was good. Hey, listen, people are free to do what they want. It ain't like anybody's married here. I and feel it was a convenience anything. thing for both of them, like okay. I told you before. It's just so, so he slides over there, and meantime, you're having your problems, and you end up moving in there with him. He ends up with her car, her dog, direction card, looks like. Um, and a bunch of people who are friends of his even, and that's the other thing we're talking about. We don't know about these people that saw whatever they saw. Well, they're his friends. Okay. So his friends are saying, yeah, you better shut up. Well. So it's kind of like, well, there you really got to wonder, like, okay, uh, what I'm afraid might have happened here, honestly, okay, okay, well, uh, well, I'm connecting the dots. What do you think I'm afraid happened here? Um, from what you're saying and from what you're telling me, you're afraid that Anthony did something to her. Or true. I'm thinking Anthony may have cleared the way to get you back just by getting rid of her, and then he still got all her shit. Because mm. because the timing on this is, like, right there. Now, here's the thing with anybody that he used to hang around with. Mm. When I do know when him and Star got together, um, not many people were very fond of her. No. Nobody has a pretty good opinion of her. Um... So basically, everybody was upset when he kind of just up and left okay. out of out of uh, Clown's house. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I don't know how many of these people are actually his true friends or not. You know what I mean? Well, friend enough to help him carry the shit over, and friend enough to let him use your fire pit. I mean, I just like I said, and I friend don't en- friend enough that you wouldn't be worried when it comes doing something like this in front of a bunch of people. When it comes to that area. Uh-huh. That's just something you would have to discuss with him. Because that's a part of his life you don't know. That's just one thing that I don't know anything about is a problem. Well, what I'm saying is, I'm a little worried mm-hmm. that maybe in haste to get you back. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I see had, where you're coming from. You had from. your problems, too. No, I mean, I, I mean, see where you're coming I from. I mean, when you were... When that, but I also when that place in Boardman didn't work out, what was your plan well, I mean, I also had family I could stay with. Yeah. Well, if yeah. I needed to, I could stay with my mom. You can go over there. Now, she's got a house full. Yeah, she does have a house.